Thank you for turning to page 121. Today we're going to dive into Unearthed Arcana for a magic item, one that I like. I've actually gotten a pair of these on a player. Shoes of Falargan. These are really nice footgear, the Dr. Scholl's, if you will, of AD&D. These low, thick-soled shoes are so durable and tough they will never wear out. Better still, the individual shod in this footgear will never grow fatigued from walking being able to easily maintain a pace of 20 to 30 miles per day. If the wearer is of neutral or neutral good alignment, the following additional benefits are gained. The wearer will never trip, step into a snare or a pit, and become entangled, or become entangled. I allow the snare or pit, a pit trap in a dungeon with the old trap door. I allow that to apply here. The duomer of these shoes enables the wearer to climb up, do, up or down hills, even those of the 45 degree angle without effort. That's a great power. The wearer will also be sure, so sure-footed as to be able to walk along narrow ledges or slippery logs without fear of a slip or a like mishap. Should the person shot actually be a worshiper of Falargan, then he or she will also get these additional benefits. Becoming lost is impossible for the wearer. Nothing walking on earth can surprise the wearer. That's a great power. The wearer can run an 18-inch movement rate and jump horizontal distances of up to 20 feet. That's very much like Boots of Starting and Springing. Climbing vertical surfaces is done as if the wearer were a 10th level thief. Whenever there is earth, including dust, sand, or mud, the wearer can tread as if it were a smooth roadway. At least a dozen pairs of these magic shoes are known to exist in treasure troves. So if you find these shoes, they're very, very comfortable. You can walk 20 to 30 miles a day and never get tired. And then if you happen to be neutral, you gain powers 1, 2, and 3. And if you actually worship Philargan, you gain 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now... The player I had that got them was not a worshiper of Falargan, so I only got the three lead powers plus the third 20 to 30 miles without becoming fatigued. These were still great just with that. I did have someone who chose to worship Falargan, and I think he hoped that I would give him a pair of shoes of Falargan, and I did. I just saw the, the benefits of these. He was probably 6th or 7th level, so he was low enough that it would really be an impact on his, play, his character, but not so low that it would completely overwhelm everybody else's powers and things like this. These are just really nice sho shoes. Uh, never walk into a snare pit or trap or become entangled. Tremendously powerful uh, magic there. The Dwayomer of these shoes enables you to climb up hills even 45 degree angle without effort. That's great. And sure-footed, never be, be able to walk along narrow ledges or slippery logs without fear of slip or falling. That's just fantastic. And then, of course, if you're a follower of Falargan, you can't get lost. Nothing walking on the earth can surprise the wearer. So now the way I rule that is if it's a bird, for instance, that can walk or fly and it happens to be walking at the time, then I do not allow surprise. If the bird is flying, I allow a chance for surprise. Just because it can walk on the earth, it has to be actively walking on the earth is my, my interpretation. Where it can run 18-inch movement rate and jump horizontal distances of up to 20 feet. That is incredible. Climbing vertical surfaces, done as if a 10th level thief. Again, that's why I gave it out at around 6th level, 7th level, so that the player would have an opportunity to actually use some of these powers, like the 10th level of climbing. He was actually better than the group thief for a little while. Wherever there is earth, including dust, sand, or mud, the wearer can tread as if it were a smooth roadway. I allow the wearer with these shoes, or I did allow the wearer with these shoes, to traverse a mud bog as long as there was quite a bit of mud right there and everybody else was getting mired down in it and everything else, I let him just continue to walk as if it were a smooth roadway. Also, quicksand. Uh, I did a swamp game and there was some quicksand. The quicksand itself was about a foot down in some uh, brackish water. Uh, one of the players got caught. The guy with the shoes of Largan walked over, stepped onto the quicksand and pulled the guy out because he was able to stand on it, whether it was dust, sand, or mud. I realize quicksand is not sand per se, but uh, I did a rule in that case that he was able to just stand there as if it was a firm surface and pull the other person out. So there you have it, really nice shoes for a player character, whether you worship Flargan or not. Even if you're just, if you're, say, chaotic good, you still gain the benefit of shoes that never wear out and you don't grow too fatigued from walking, being able to do 20 to 30 miles a day. That's without anything with the alignment or the worship being involved. That's pretty potent.
So there you have it. A nice quick look and a nice pair of shoes. Uh, try them out for size in your game. See what you think. Let me know how you've used these in your campaign. And maybe some rulings I missed or didn't mention. Go ahead and, and put them in the comments. I want to thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. If you like what you heard and saw, please like and subscribe. Don't forget the Patreon. Uh, please help support the channel there. And I'll see you next time on page 121.